A question I see frequently asked on various Facebook groups is, what is the best travel planning app? Now the app that I use is full featured, it's free, you probably already have it on your computer, I'm going to show you how to use it. And please subscribe, hit that button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. The application I use for RV trip planning is Google Maps. From the Google Chrome browser, Google Maps should appear as a shortcut. If it's not there, you can add it by using the Add Shortcut feature. Open Google Maps. Search for your destination. Now, for this trip, we're going to the uh, Outer Banks KOA. This one is a little bit cheaper than the one down at uh, Hatteras KOA, which is about $150 a night more. So let's choose it. You can check availability through the Google function or use the KOA application or any RV campground application that you like. Then click directions. Click your starting point. I've got some in here already stored because I use this app all the time. So we're going to see how long it takes us to get from Spring City, Tennessee to the Outer Banks KOA. And it's going to tell us that's 9 hours and 52 minutes. Now I prefer to drive around four, four and a half hours, which is around 260, between 260 and 300 miles. And by moving your cursor along the route, Google will show you how far it is. So at this point here to Hickory, it's 255 miles. Now I've already checked all these campgrounds along the route, and since we're planning this trip late, uh, close to the July 4th holiday, they're all full. But I happen to find one at Greensboro, uh, which had some spaces. So let's see if that works. So let's put in Greensboro. Greensboro, North Carolina pops up. Google says 5 hours and 38 minutes. Now that's a long time, but since it's my fault I'm a little late in the game, I'll go ahead and drive it. So we're going to go to the uh, KOA Campgrounds application, and we'll go ahead and do our reservation. Then we'll come back and we'll see, well, what about the rest of the trip? So how about Outer Banks? Outer Banks, North Carolina. Let's just see how far it is to get out to the Outer Banks. That's 4 hours and 42 minutes, so that works. Another feature available in Google Maps is a search along the route it includes hotels, gas, EV charging, things to do, and campgrounds. You can use Google Maps to plan a much longer trip. Let's go to Wyoming. Let's go to the Yellowstone National Park. And we'll start from Spring City. Take Google a few seconds to make all the calculations. It's going to pop up the route, tell us it's 27 hours, 1700 miles. Well, we don't want to go quite that far. So we'll go along the route here and pick something that's around 250 miles. Come down here around Paducah, Kentucky. And Paducah is about 253 miles. That looks pretty good. Let's see if that works. Put in Paducah. There it is, 4 hours and 25 minutes. That works. Go to my campground app, book a campground in Paducah, and then let's see what the next stop is. Now we have to change things around a little bit here. We're going to put Paducah up top. Then we're going to put Yellowstone in the bottom. There's our route. Another 23 hours. So we can go along here and pick some places that fit our driving needs. 340 miles, 225 miles, someplace in between. Use our campground apps, find the campground we like, and pick our spot. One last thing I do in my trip planning is to gather up some critical information from all of the printed out documents. Put the campground name, when I'm going to travel there, the address, the phone number, and the reservation number. Now this is in Excel. You can use any text application that you like. This information is handy if you run into some weather that slows you down, some bad traffic, and you want to give the campground a call. It's nice to have this information as a quick reference in one place. I put it in the folder in front of all the other information and have easy access to it while I'm on the road.